gardeners, it's Mrs. Christ. We're going to be talking about bundles of 10 to 100 today. This is Bridges, week 11, for May 26th through 29th. Our objective today is to count 100 by skip counting by tens to build efficient ways of counting to greater numbers. Are you ready to count by 10? Can you count by 10 to 100? In Schoology, in your class, you'll see a think about it. You can record yourself skip counting by tens to 100 forward, and then you can challenge yourself to skip count backwards. Let's go ahead and learn about counting to 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Today we're going to learn about bundles of 10. And we're going to be using our 100s chart to help us count with bundles of 10. So let's talk about using popsicle sticks to, ca to count our 10s. So let's make 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we can exchange that and make a bundle of 10. So we're going to actually do that and do a trade. We're going to take, we're going to take those 10 away and make a bundle. So we can exchange every time we have a group of 10, we have a bundle. This is what a bundle looks like. So let's mark 10 on our 100 chart. There's 10. So one bundle is the same as 10. So this is equal to 10. If we're counting by tens on the hundreds chart and we have two bundles, what number would we have? Well, we're going to skip down 10. If you notice, we start with 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's our next group of 10. So we can just move down on the hundreds chart when we're counting by 10. So two groups of 10 is 20. I wonder what three groups of 10 would be equal to. Let's take a look and we're going to count by 10. So let's try it. 10, 20, 30. So three groups is equal to 30. So let's go ahead and reorganize our bundles so that we can see them all together. And I'm going to make this equal to 20 and this equal to 30 in a group so that we can see those. And there's 30. Let's go ahead and move those up so we can get some more space to build our next group. So if you notice, this is 10, 20, 30. I wonder how many bundles we would need for our next 10, which is 40. What do you think? That's right, we're going to need four. 10, 20, 30, 40. So four bundles of 10 is the same as 40. Let's do one more together. So we're going to count by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. How many bundles of 10 are we going to need to make 50? Let's check. One, two, 
that's 20, 30, 40, 50. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 bundles of 10 is the same as 50. If we continue this pattern down the hundreds chart, we can count by tens and say the next group. So we, we're at 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I wonder how many bundles of 10 we would need to make 100. Hmm. Let's count and think about that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. How many bundles of 10 did we need to make 100? That's right, we needed 10 bundles of 10. We always count in groups of 10 as the digits suggest that there are 10 counting numbers. So when we count four bundles of 10 sticks, it's the same as 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. Now it's your turn to try it. You're going in Schoology to open up the PowerPoint assigned by your teacher in Try It. On each card, you're going to write how many tens, and then write how many sticks total, and then count by, one, by tens to 100. So let's go ahead and try a couple as an example. So this is one group of 10. It is one ten and it is the same as 10. Here I have two groups or two bundles of 10 and it is the same as 20. And I can check that by saying 10, 20 when counting by 10. You're going to do the rest in the same way. Then you can find this hundreds chart and number line and practice counting by tens on the hundreds chart and on the number line, just like we did when we were learning about counting by tens to 100. When you're done, you're gonna show what you know. In your Schoology group, you will see a puzzle piece that says show what you know. You can write right on the screen to complete the assignment and turn it into your teacher. Happy counting!